Well, grade 9 today, we're going to work on lesson 4.4, matching equations in graphs. In this lesson, you're going to learn to match different equations to the graphs, and there's two ways of doing it. The first is to substitute in the value of x and find the y. So if you take a look at our, our example here, what we would do is we'd find a value on the x-axis, we would put it in to the equation, and we would find out whether or not the y value that came out matched the place on the line. And I think you'll understand more as we go. Now, the second way is to find a point that's actually on the line. So for example, you could go and find a location like 0, negative 5, and then you put it into the equation and see if it balances. Right? Several ways of doing it. So how do we do this? Well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to move here. And you have to choose a value which is on the x-axis. And make sure that the y-axis value is on your graph. So don't choose a, a, a point like negative 5 because negative 5 isn't actually got the line on it. So you can't tell whether or not you're actually going to be uh, on the equation. So choose a y value, sorry, an x value that is actually somewhere in where the line crosses. So the easiest one to do, obviously, is choose 0. And the y is because it's easy. And you'll see that how it goes here. So for example, let's take a look at our first equation. That's y is equal to 2x plus 5. That's the first one we're going to check and find out whether or not it is on this line. So I know the x is going to be 0. So you take the x out, and you put the 0 in its place. And now you do the math. y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 5. Well, 2 times 0 is 0. And of course, 0 plus 5 is just 5. So now we have y is equal to 2x plus 5 when x is 0, y is 5. So we end up getting in a coordinate pair of 0, 5. So looking at this right now, let's go down and take a look. Let's look for 0, 5. Is 0, 5 on the line? Now remember, the first value, x, is on this axis right here, the horizontal one, the x-axis. So 0, 5. Now if the line does not cross through that point, then this one right here, doesn't work. Let's try the next one. There's our equation. And we have to put in, again, I'm going to choose x is 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. And 0 take away 5 leaves me with y is equal to negative 5. That means my coordinate pair is going to be 0, negative 5. So let's go down here. Here's 0, and negative 5 is right there. So this one lands on the graph. So we know that this one here is the actual graph. Let's go over here and do this one just for practice. Okay, x plus y equals 5. Well, we want to put in 0 for x. And of course, 0 plus y is just 0. Sorry, it's y, sorry. So y is equal to 5. So my coordinate pair for this one is 0, 5. So let's go take a look here. 0, 5 is up here again. So we know that this one right here is not the equation. So we do know which coordinate pair is on the line. It's the 0, negative 5. And that means that, sorry, sorry, negative 5 right here. That means that the equation that matches this graph is the y is equal to 2x minus 5. And that's as simple as it is. Let's go on to another example here. I'll lead you through this one. You'll notice automatically that we have a problem here with lines all over the place. And this is the way we're going to be doing it normally. We're not going to just have one line and you choose. You have to match which one of these matches these three lines. Now, be careful. Don't assume that the one left over matches it, because I am going to be giving you ones where two equations match two of the lines, but the third equation does not match the third line. Okay, So you have to do all of the work in order to verify it. No shortcuts. Well, we know what our equations are. y is equal to x plus 3, y is equal to 2x minus 1, and 3x plus y is equal to 2. Again, let's take a look at our, our graph here. If I chose 0, I have three different locations where I could find the what's called the y-intercept, or where the, like, right, the uh, line crosses the y-axis. So I can use 0. That's easy math. OK, so here we go. I'm going to use 0. When would this process not work? Well, I'll tell you right now. Guess where it doesn't work? Right there. And I'm getting to that in a moment. OK, so if the lines all cross the y-axis at different places, this will work. If it all crosses at the 
uh, the same location as you saw down below, it won't work. And sometimes you'll have two lines across on the y-axis and one that doesn't. So you're going to have to uh, change as we go. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that one bridge when we get to it. So the first thing we do here, we have an equation called y is equal to x plus 3. So here's our first one right here. We want to know whether line A, line B, or line C matches that equation. So the first thing I'm going to do, again, I'm going to use 0. So put the 0 in for the x, and I've got y is equal to 0 plus 3. So y is equal to 3. That means that my coordinate pair, get this out of here, is going to be, oh, screwed up, 0, 3. But well, that's easy enough. So 0, 3. That's this line right here. So obviously, that is line B. So 0 to 3 means it's on this line. So that line is line B. And that's why down here I call it line B. OK, let's go to the next one. Now I'm going to use the second equation. The second equation is y is equal to 2x minus 1. And I want to know which line, A or C, matches this one. So again, I'm going to use 0. All right, so there's 2x minus 1. Placing in 0 for x gives me y is equal to 2 times 0 minus 1. 2 times 0 is 0. And 0 take away 1 is negative 1. Don't drop that negative there. All right. So now that we have that, we know that the equation, sorry, the, sorry, the coordinate pair, when x is 0, y is negative 1. So now let's go up here. x is 0, y is negative 1. So that means that this coordinate, this equation right there, is for this line right here. That is line C. Now, you, if you want to take a, if it was a multiple choice question and work wasn't being marked, uh, you could probably take a guess and say, well, this has got to be line A, right? But I'm telling you right now, be careful. Not always will that be the case. It is in this case, and I'll help you out there. But let's go through the work anyway. So there's my third equation. 3x plus y is equal to 2. Take the x out and put a 0 in its place. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus y just leaves me with y, so y is 2. So when x is 0, y is 2, there's my coordinate pair. So that means 0, 2. Here's 0, go up to 2, and you can see that it is, in fact, line A that goes through there. And so, there you go. Put in 0 for the x, solve for y, get the pair, check on the graph, where is that location, and does a line cross through it? All right, go on to the next question. Okay, for this example, you'll notice right off the bat that we've got an issue. If I use x is 0, you'll notice right off the bat that right here we have a problem. All three lines are going to come through that point right there. Now, if all three points uh, intersect at 0, 2, you can't tell whether this point is for line A, line B, or line C, because, in fact, all three of them pass through that point. So let's take a look at... What we have a problem with, we know that all the y-intercepts are the same, so we cannot use x is equal to 0. So I have to go somewhere else. And obviously, the most easiest one to do would be using the number 1. Because if, a, if I put in 1 for x, line a would be somewhere about negative 6. If I put in 1 for b, it should be at 1, 1. And if I put in 1 for c, it should cross the x-axis at 0. Or sorry, at uh, y-axis at 0 here. So let's do the graph, OK? So we're going to try 1. That's easiest. So when y is equal to 2x minus 2, that's the first equation I'm going to work with. I'm going to take out the 2, sorry, the x, and I'm going to put the 1 in place. Now, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So my coordinate pair here is 1, 0. So looking up here, where is 1, 0? Remember, x, y, the x is first, so the 1 is first, so go to the 1. And you stay at 0 on the y-axis, so this is that line right there. So we know that the first equation, this one right here, is line C. Let's take a look at the next one. There's the equation we're working with. y is equal to 3x minus 2. Take out the x, put in the 1. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 take away 2 is 1. So my coordinate pair is 1, 1. So going up here, 1, 1 is right there. So that means that the second equation we chose is line B. So 3x minus 2 is line B. B. Okay, and of course, I've done the first two. The third equation, 4x plus y, there's our equation. Put in the 1 from the, for the x. 4 times 1 is 4. And now to get, get the y isolated, you've got to take 4 from both sides. So 4 take away 4 gives me 0 on the left. And on the right, negative 2 take away 4 is negative 6. Be careful with this one. 
All right. If you're having difficulty with it, go back to our, our, our rules. Negative 2 plus the opposite is negative 2 plus negative 4. Right? A negative 4 and a negative 2 gives you a negative 6. All right? So be very, very careful with that one. That's the tricky part of this question. Of course, so y is negative 6. That means that our coordinate pair is 1, negative 6. And let's find out if it matches. 1, negative 6. And in fact, it does match. So we know that this one is line C. How am I going to mark this? All right? So formula, substitution, answer. All right? And they'll probably ask you for that too. So formula, substitution, answer, pair, decision. Formula, substitution, answer, pair, decision. All right. So there's your questions. So this qu this mark this uh, question right here would have been worth 15 marks. Okay. I want you to pause the equation. So pause the pause the recording. I want you to do this one on your own. All right, so let's take a look at our equations. We've got y is equal to 2x minus 2, y is equal to 2x minus 4, and y is equal to negative 2x equals 1. So taking a look at that, let's go down. What number do you think would be the best one to use? Well, since they all cross at different location, I'm going to use a 0. Why? Because the math is easier. So here's my first equation. y is equal to 2x take away 2. Take the x out, put the 0 in. So 2 times 0 is 0, and of course, 0 take away 2 takes me to the other side of the integers of negative 2. So y is equal to negative 2, that gives me the pair. 0 for the x gives me negative 2. Now, going back up to our equation, where is 0, negative 2? Well, there's 0, negative 2 is right there. That means this line is b, so this equation is for line b. Let's try our second equation. y equals 2x minus 4. Put in the 0, take out, sorry, and take out the x. 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 take away negative 4 is negative 4. And if you're having trouble here again, think of our, our rules. Um, negative 4, if you added a negative 4, these two things right here are the same thing. So when you see a negative 4, it's the same as subtracting a 4. So see the subtracting a 4 right there? That's the same thing as this negative 4. All right? You think of your number line. Right? If you're at 0 and you subtract negative 4, you're going to go left 4 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's going to bring you to the negative 4. All right? Just a little review there. Okay, so this brings us to negative 4 is my y value. So my coordinate pair is 0, negative 4. So that means if I go up here, 0, negative 4 is down here. That means that this line, this equation, is equation C. Now, we could just assume it's the case, but if you did that, you'll be losing five marks. Well, you probably lose four because you didn't do the actual work. So here's where the work comes in, and, and it pays you. My equation, put in the zero. Two times zero is zero. A number take away zero is still that number. So my coordinate pair is zero, one. So that means that go up here, zero, one is there. So in fact, line A is this equation for sure. All right, let's take a look at the horizontal and vertical line identifications. And this goes back to lesson 4.3. So if you're not sure, go back and review this to make sure that you understand what is happening here. Remember that when you see y is equal to 2, that means that all of the values of y have to be 2. That's a dead giveaway, all right? So if you want to know for y is equal to 2, let's take a look at this right here. y is equal to 2. So where is 2 on the... there. There's 2. So we have two choices. It could be going this way or it could be going this way. Well, if it was going this way, my values of y would change, wouldn't they? No matter what happens, y has to stay at 2. No choice. So, y equals 2 has got to be line D. Okay. Let's take a look at the next equation, y equals negative 4. So, if y has to be negative 4 in all cases, it's got to be this one because it can't be anything else. Y cannot be negative 3. Y cannot be negative 2. Y has to stay at negative 4. The values of X have no restrictions on them, so you could have any value of X in both directions, but Y stays at negative 4. Okay? Let's take a look down here, and this is what I did. All the values of Y have to be negative 4 and only negative 4. So which graph has only values of Y which are negative 4? 
That is this crap. What's going on here? I mislabeled. This should be label. This this graph is label C. Okay. Don't know why they called it line A. Let's fix that right now. Boom, boom. That is line C. I've probably got the back I have one backwards too. Okay, x equals five. Now for x equals five, you only here's your values of x. X can only be five. So go to where x is five. That's the only one it can be. Right? So the only line that passes through there is this one, and that's B. So for x equals five, all the values of x have to be five and only five. So which graph line has only the values of x, which are 5? That's this one right here. All right. Now, for the last one, uh, x equals negative 4. So x negative, negative 4 is right there. So the line that passes through that is line A, right? And down here, yeah, I had them backwards for some reason. I got these mixed back up, right? So this is line A. So all the lines, all the values of x have to be negative 4 and only negative 4. So there's negative 4. So all the values of x, so all of these, wherever you go, x has to always be negative 4. That means this graph line right there, or the line A, matches this equation right there. All right, moving on to your assignment. Good luck. If you have any questions, watch the video again. And if not, come and talk to me. I'll be more than happy to help you. See you in the next lesson.